Diva is one of the best characters to be scouting with. So you should be up in that window up there, scouting. Scouting for where the enemy's uh, coming from, what direction are they going to come from. And you should be telling your team, like, hey, uh, they're going to come from this way and that way. Also, you need to be pressing tab. Right now, you should be pressing tab and keeping track of all their ultimates. What ultimates do you guys have? And then making a plan based on the ultimates. You're basically going into this fight blind because... You don't know what they have, you don't know what you have. This fight is blind. Nobody on your team is paying attention. That was a good eat. Oh, hello. Right now, you should be screaming Doom, 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 Doom 1, Doom 1, Doom 1. Getting everybody to focus their attention on this Doom so that he dies. He lived here because you didn't call that. If you had called that, I guarantee he would have died. Especially since you got people back here, they can literally just turn around. So who's your target right now, right? You, you even you you seem a yeah, little I, confused I, I about really that. In this, in this part of the fight. So in that case, if it's a confusion, if it's confusion, then just call out one target and have everybody focus it. Honestly. If you want to get to diamond real quick, just call out target focusing. Just call out like one target to focus. And everybody, it, people tend to listen if you're like very insistent about it. Because they either want to get you to shut up or they think you know what you're doing. So <laughs> um, in either case, they'll listen to you. Like in this case, I'd be just saying focus the Orisa. Because if their main tank goes down, their whole comp is like literally based around this Orisa shield. So if she goes down, like GG. She's probably arguably one of the more important characters on their team. So now you're two down. You just had they just picked you twice. So you should be calling for a retreat actually. Basically two picks happened and you stayed in too long. This is why you got demeked here. This is wasting your Ryan's shield here. You should be backing up. Ryan Ryan right now is actually doing a really good job trying to protect you. And you're wasting his shield as a result. After you guys got the objective, the first fight was over and you should have been looking at their comp and seeing Okay, after this first fight, evaluating, the, evaluating this comp, is my comp, in general, good against their comp? Question one, after the first fight. And then question two is alts. If you had tabbed a fight ago, you would have known this guy would have had Dragon Strike. You'd been expecting the Dragon Strike. And as D.Va, you can actually eat that Dragon Strike. So you could have preemptively been positioning yourself to eat this guy's ult and make it useless. You also probably know Mora gets her ult extremely fast. And Doom also gets... These four get their ult extremely fast. These guys kind of get, like, kind of get a kind of slow. But yeah, you would have been able to evaluate that and then been able to use your own ults to counter it. And for reference, they just used... They, uh, uh, for reference, since this is a video, um, they just used Nano, and obviously they just used Dragon Strikes. Oh, actually, I think they might have used Coalescence. Actually, I don't think they used Coalescence yet. Anyway. After a couple punches, probably Doom will probably will have his ult. Arissa hasn't used hers yet, so I'm gonna probably probably assume that since it's a third, this will be the third fight or third mm -hmm. fourth fight, so she probably will have it. Yeah, mostly basically they probably would have about three or four ults on them. Who else? You said three or four. These, this is only two. Who else? I say they're they're basically every single one except for probably the the ones that just launched them will probably have it. So you have an inkling that they have four alts. You have one, two, maybe three. So you're at an ultimate disadvantage here. So what should you do? What I would do is one of two things. So this first option is the safest option. It's not very optimal. Tell everybody. Don't use your alts. We're going to go in without alts and we're going to force them to use alts to win the fight. And we're going to draw out alts. It's called a dry fight in uh, higher tiers. So a dry fight means you don't use any alts. You force them to use alts to win the fight. So you try to see if you can force Doom and Moira to alt or maybe the Orisa as well. Especially in plat and gold. These dudes like to just fire off their alt when they've got it. So they're very trigger happy with their alts. So you try to make force them to waste their alts. So then the next fight, you have like five alts that you can use and you have options. So that's the first option. Second option requires a bit more thinking and understanding of the meta. I guess, I guess to pull off a shot call. But it, it comes down to predictions, right? So you're going to walk up with this comp. You know, your Ryan's going to walk down center. First of all, you should be telling your Ryan not to go down center. Because they've got... They've got this main choke locked down. So you should be telling your Ryan to go this way. 
You know, it's called a rotation when you don't go down the same path every time. You should tell your Rhine to rotate to the right, and everybody else will follow because they're following the Rhine. And then make the fight happen where they're not expecting it. They'll get someone will get screwed up. Someone will get caught in the crossfire. This guy probably won't rotate very well, so maybe you can kill him. Maybe somebody else can kill him. The point is, in terms of just raw ultimates, you can say something like, if she uses her ult, if he uses her ult, I'm gonna bomb. If he uses his ult. Mercy, you Valk, and everyone have your movement abilities ready, and then we pounce on him as soon as he lands. So do you see where I was going with that? It's more of like a counter style. Like if, if X uses this, then we do this. If Y uses this, then we do this. And it's it falls under an understanding of how your ultimate works. So as D.Va, if you're going to D.Va one trick your way to the top, you gotta know how to use your bomb. And how to use your bomb, especially in the current meta with double shields, you absolutely need to be countering their ultimates with it. You're almost never gonna get just a pick off of just like throwing it out there. That will not work at higher tiers. You will waste your bomb and people will yell at you. So what you need to do is you need to be like, okay, if these guys use an ult, I'm going to use my diva bomb to counter it and then we can push in after that they literally bunkered down it's like it's like they've set up a dmz here a demilitarized zone or whatever and you're trying to like walk through it you guys need to be going through the castle or going up here or going some different path where they're not expecting you to go in the current meta because it's double shield usually it's a sigma orissa comp and i'm sure you've seen that a lot the general gist is you want to get around the shield you, you can't bust your way through the shield that's not gonna happen there's too much shield health until they nerf it so you need to be going around you need to be thinking about rotations you can't just be walking head on but anyway let's see what you do